Good morning. Um, my name is Kim Warner, and we're here at Renewed Mind. This is Michael Smith, and um, we're going to be talking on domestic violence. But um, first, if you have any situations such as depression or even um, addictions, let me give you the number. It's 702-629-6555. And so uh, it's Renewed Mind Wellness. We're on Maryland Parkway in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, I believe you do uh, Skype counseling. I did at one point, it, and it wasn't through Skype. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. through VC, V S E E. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a protected site, HIPAA approved. Mm -hmm. uh, I, matter of fact, I had got that site through a, a psychiatrist that used it, oh, okay. uh, and it's very good. Uh, in regards to what Cam said about substance abuse and uh, mental health therapy, uh, we're soon to begin a 12-step uh, program, NAAA, that will be meeting here in the near future on Maryland Parkway also. Uh, we, we, our goal is to provide all the needed services. You know, and, and you know, don't let money or insurance be a, a, de a detriment to you not getting what you need. Yeah. Come see us. Yeah, we have a sliding fee scale, so um, we will be able to accommodate you and, um, yeah, come out and see us. So today we're going to be talking about domestic violence and even sexual abuse. Um, I found, it's not that I didn't know, but it's like I found a week or two ago that there were numbers. Every day I was hearing about children being um, violated sexually. And in most cases, this is a, a hidden factor because the perpetrators will be family members and they'll tell the kids not to um, tell or they'll hurt them or they'll hurt the parents. They'll make up discussions or some kind of something to keep them from um, being exposed. And um, so my main point of view, I did a video last Sunday because it was bothering me. Um, a I think maybe 90% of the people that we uh, encounter have had these experiences and they don't have healthy relationships because of it. So I think it's important that we talk about sexual abuse and that we let um, the people know that they have somewhere they can go. If you don't want to talk about it, you can call us or um, go to a therapist to get help because it actually causes limitations in your life and it's the same with domestic violence yeah. speaking on domestic violence and even uh abuse child abuse uh you know both physically and sexually mm -hmm. and uh even adults that get abused yeah. sexually and, and physically uh the, the first thing that comes to mind is why uh why mm -hmm. does the perpetrator uh, commit these acts, mm -hmm. and then why does the victim remain in that situation? Mm -hmm. You know, because time and time again, we we hear cases where uh, a, 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 a wife, and in some cases even a husband, uh, the abuse, physical abuse, goes on for years. Uh, we hear, I had been in, in therapy, I heard so many cases of uh, women that were either raped at a young age or uh, kids that were sexually abused by a family member or, or a close family friend and never reported it. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it and, or when they did report it, it didn't go anywhere because of at least 99% of, of my encounters with that uh, is the, always the same answer. There was the, the person never went to jail. The person never, uh, even if they told the police, it, it never went any further. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that is just, to me, it's mind blowing. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you carry that trauma Throughout life, mm -hmm. and 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 then it becomes generational. It, you mm -hmm. know, kids living in a household where 
one parent is physically and emotionally abusive towards the other parent, uh, little girls grow up thinking well, that, that's, that's what love is. Little boys grow up thinking that's what a, a man is supposed to do. You, you know, and, and and it goes on and on and on. You, you, you see it go through two and three generations, you know, until somebody puts a stop to it. Somebody says, no, not me. Uh, so back to the question, why? Mm -hmm. I think that, uh, well, ain't no thing to it. Uh, the perpetrator has a problem. Uh, the, the perpetrator thinks that this is what they're supposed to do. It's okay. We don't do things typically that we don't think is okay or that we don't think we're supposed to do. Uh, and a lot of times the perpetrator uh, does it because that's what their experience exactly. was. Exactly. And, they, and, 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 and it, so they're just carrying on. You know, they're doing what it's done to me. I've seen cases where two brothers in the same family and the older brother targeted the younger brother and come to find out the older brother was targeted by a family friend. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Yeah. And people are embarrassed to really talk about it. But I think that if we discuss these issues and we say you do have someone that can listen you come over to where we are, it can be, it's a confidential thing always. Um, then you have a way out because you have a way of understanding that your feelings are valid when you feel like something is wrong or this is unhealthy. You don't have to be um, captivated or limited in that space of living concerning sexual abuse or domestic violence. You know, uh, we do learn from our environment. Um, domestic violence, by the way, is not just physical. It comes in verbal um, aspects and it is tactful. And yes. the reason why I say it is because someone is angry and that anger begins to hit the individual that they're with. And then the anger sees that it's okay and it keeps hitting the other person or even the children. And what happens is, is that it escalates in some way or another. Um, someone can stay verbal. They might have, we talk about narcissistic behaviors. They actually get a thrill or get off on hurting people with words. That's physical, I mean, verbal abuse. So if you're experiencing that, you can change it. If you are the perpetrator, you can also get help. Because what we say is in generations, it happens because it, it's a domino effect. The person that's giving the, uh, the violence or the verbal abuse or the physical, the sexual abuse, it's been given to them. They've experienced it in some way or another. And so this energy is traveling from one generation to another and how you stop it is you begin to look at it and say i just can't handle it anymore because that that thing actually is meant to kill you you know and let, she mentioned behavior so let's look at behaviors and, and, and the nature of behaviors mm -hmm. um, behaviors are really even from childhood on is designed to get you attention the attention that you want mm -hmm. uh the behavior of a, a person that engages in, in a, a physical violence, physical abuse, uh, in a relationship or otherwise, uh, the first time they do it, uh, it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a trial. It's mm -hmm. a, it's a sample, right? Mm -hmm. But like any other behavior, if you do it and get away with it, then you're going to do it again. And then you're going to do it so many times that it becomes part of, of your, uh, it's a habit. It's part, it's part of your behavior, and, and you do it just automatically until you're made so uncomfortable mm -hmm. with that behavior that then you will change it. But as long as that other person allows you to behave like that, you're going to continue. And like she says, sometimes it will escalate because, uh, oh, I can get away with this. Now, let me... It, well, there's no checks on my anger. Let's, let me let it fly all the way off. Mm -hmm. And then here comes the physical part. 
Uh-huh. You know, uh, so what I'm saying is in most situations, uh, there has to be willingness on both parts. Mm. Yeah, it's true. I, I'm not trying to say blame anything on the victim, but they have a responsibility. Yeah. The very first time that it occurs, they they have to react at that time. Mm-hmm. Either they allow it or they don't allow it. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, because if it's not stopped, it will continue. That's true. It, 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 there's no other way of looking at it. It's the same with any behavior: substance abuse, mm-hmm. uh, stealing. Mm-hmm. Lying, any of those behaviors. Right. At first, you 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 oh. you feel anxiety about engaging in that because okay, I'm not supposed to do this. But especially with stealing, mm-hmm. you know, I've seen little kids that are steal, and and if they get away with it, even adults, then they steal again and again and again mm-hmm. until the law or someone steps in That's and right. says, no, you can't do this, and you and you receive punishment. Even then, after that punishment, if you feel like that punishment wasn't that great, you're going to keep on doing it Mm -hmm. until the punishment becomes so unbearable that, okay, something has to change. And it's like that with stealing, lying, substance abuse, physical abuse, just everything, any behavior. Until you become so uncomfortable within that behavior that you can no longer keep supporting it, you're not going to change. Yeah. And I mean, when you when you're looking at relationships and there's physical violence, um, a lot of times the victims will say, well, he said that he loves me or she said, because this is not just one way. Women, yes. they, they physically, you know, they hit too, and emotionally abuse. They do. Yeah. And, and so what, what you said right there is a valid point. The emotions as a person is emotionally damaged. That's where um, the, the health issues begin to come in and it's the most pertinent part because you can hit a body and it will heal but the emotions being internal are the hardest part of an individual to heal so it's like look at how you feel inside of you if you feel every day you're waking up this is not good for me make a change or make a decision to change because the, the the hitting the, the the victimization is not going to start stop until you find that you can be a victorious person meaning that you find a way to overcome that you and your partner your children need therapy through that because even if it's something that's passed down you might have left home to be with you know a person I, I've seen relationships like that um, usually if you were in home that energy is still following you. And, and so until you find out why you have been a part of that energy, that's what it is, then it's not going to stop. You're going to attract people to you that yes. are the same energy. Right. Likewise, right. you know, right. I, um, my, my grandmother and my mother were domestic violence victims. No one has ever hit me, but I had the encounters of verbal abuse. Now, the other the flip side of that is, and that's from my dad. You know what I'm saying? But the flip side of that is, is that I have a temperament. I can say that I could be or I could have been uh, an abuser. So you got to look at all of this here because my roots had abuse in them. And I say this because I want people to understand what's happening. You can have that emotional um, trauma that calls you into the situations. And it's only you that's going to be able to change that. So, you know, uh when you spoke about uh, physical abuse versus emotional Mm -hmm. and how physically we heal, but the emotional Mm -hmm. scars go very deep. Uh, The emotional scars, they, they remain in your psyche. Uh, Mm -hmm. And I, I I will go even further to say that they damage you spiritually. Mm -hmm. And when that occurs, yes, the body gets ill. Mm -hmm. Uh, what there, there's a a gland in the brain that whenever it encounters stress, it shuts down the immune system. Mm-hmm. Uh, the human, we were never meant to be under constant stress. Or, or, and believe me, when you're in an abusive situation, you're constantly under stress. 
if you wake up in the morning and you don't look forward to that day, mm-hmm. you're under stress constantly. Uh, stress and anxiety is a natural part of our world, but we 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 deal with it and then and then move on. Right. But when when you're constantly under it and you become physically ill, you know, not only just emotionally mm-hmm. and mentally ill, you become physically ill, mm-hmm. and, and uh, something has to be done. Whenever you we you know the oldest. Uh, known reaction of man is fight or flight. Whenever you encounter a, a, a fear or any kind of stressful situation, either you stand there and you deal with it or you get away from it. Mm-hmm. But you have to do something. Mm-hmm. If you remain there and do nothing, you, you're going to get ill. You, you, it, it affects you physically, uh, psychically, and spiritually. You can't get around that you, you, and, and why do we remain there is the question and in and, and that we, we have to realize that the person is not going to change without getting help because no. it's been a part of their environment people don't just pick up to be like this I mean you can be 20 years old and then you begin to um, feel like you can just talk to people any way that you want and you're self gratified by it but it's coming from somewhere in your experience that you feel you need to express anger or hatred. So for anyone that is in a relationship and you have children or children that are experiencing that, you need to get some some help for them. Because what happens is, is that we grow up and we have unhealthy conditions, living. We're limited in our living capabilities and our professional capabilities. We're limited. When you look at the world, we have all of the same issues we're talking about right here. People are depressed for different reasons, but um, they, they don't get help. You know what I'm saying? But when you look at depression, depression is a sign. When you look at the domestic violence or um, verbal abuse, it, it, it becomes depression because now no one hears my voice. I haven't been heard. You know, how how can I get this out of me? How how do I get? And the mind is confused uh, until we make a choice. The mind will not stabilize itself to say you're a winner or mm-hmm. you can make it or you're great. You're not somebody else's opinion. You have to make a decision that you have an opinion for yourself. Like you get up in the morning, you might feel like you're ugly because you've been in some kind of abusive situation, sexual, whatever it is. But you have a choice. That's what God gives us. So you go back to the spiritual man. And it's not that. Listen, if you go to church, you can get counseled by your pastor or whatnot. If it works and you are um, partnering, you are getting help for that. That's great. But if you go to church and you're praying and you say, I'm praying for God to help me. Oh, please get get therapy because your mind has to be impacted by self-worth. People yeah. that their confidence are beat down and they feel nothing for themselves. Those are the people that tend to become more emotional, stressed and they're health begins to dissipate. You, you can't just do it that way. Something Kim said earlier that made, you know, that, uh, made me realize something. You know, when a, a lot, most times, most cases, when a person uh, is uh, physically abused, it, it didn't just start with the physical abuse. They were conditioned for that physical right. abuse because first they were beat down mentally. They, yeah. they were told that they're no good. They were made to feel that they were no good and, they, and that they were worthless and, and that they deserve whatever they get. You, you, you understand? They got were conditioned to be beat. They, you know, through through the, the, the mental or, or the emotional abuse that came first. You, you know, uh, it could very, very seldom does a man uh, just out of nowhere, strike a woman. He, he, he's done other things first. You know, he's done other things first. You know, uh, those, and, 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 but I go back to the why. Mm-hmm. So, you, you also mentioned about our world. Uh, we created an, an environment that uh, supports 
Yes. Everything that you see going on right now. We created an environment, you know, through our <laughs> the music that is programming us, through the the internet, through all the social media, through uh, laws that have been passed, mm -hmm. through uh, laws that have been stripped down. You know, uh, they you know they taking religion out of the schools. Mm -hmm. They 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 taken away a parent's ability to chastise their children. Uh, so many things have happened where there are no checks and balances. Mm -hmm. uh, it's okay now to uh, call a woman that, that, that B word. Mm -hmm. You know, they call each other Bs mm -hmm. out, of, out of friendship. Uh, yeah. the, the N word is prolific now. It's made it all right to be that. You know, and they made it all right to uh, for a, a young girl straight out of high school, and uh, instead of going to college, they go to the strip club. Mm -hmm. They've made it all right. They've made it okay to do these things. They've made it okay for men to go and 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 look at naked women. And and, cause, and they meet up there for the football party. They meet up there for the bachelor party. They meet up there for all kind of different reasons. They've made it okay to degrade females. Our society has created this this situation, this environment. Um, yes, I am not a a a supporter of. Of our environment, even I, I know I'm gonna be criticized for this, but even our churches are responsible for the environment that's been created. Yeah, it's because okay. they do nothing about it. It happens amongst their congregations. You have deacons going out with, you know, they're married and going out with with, with uh, women of the church. You have ministers doing it. You have. <laughs> yeah, this is a a topic that will kind of like evolve into all different kind of situations. Everything, but yes. my thing would be is woman or man, find your respect. Respect is the word I would say, because if you respect yourself, you will get out First. or you'll find a way. First if you are a man or a woman, yes. but then if you have children, you're going to look at your children and the impact of them and their health. And what is going to be the long for them because we're looking at generations. Yeah. You know, morality did not end in one generation. There were leaderships of America and all throughout the world that began to uh, break down the barriers of morality. And morality is what you need for checks and balances. That means that when Michael brought up prayer, people don't pray and it was put into effect so that people would actually begin to respond the way that they do towards each other because prayer is necessary. You did not create yourself. The politicians did not create the world. No. It was a universal God. And so when you get back to uh, asking God for the support and the help, yes, it's going to help. But then he put people in place to help you get a mental balance on how to handle your life. So if your life is out of order, you feel like that, then you have people reaching out to you. Ooh, ooh, listen, people put in place, right? Yeah, there are people put in place to support you. And there are also people put in place to bring more attention to what's wrong in our world. Mm hmm Look at who, who they elected as president. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> he is the epitome yeah. of what's wrong in our society. Yeah. So that is put there for a reason mm -hmm. to bring attention to it, to, to, to put it out in front. Mm -hmm. If you do not like what's going on right now, mm -hmm. then it's up to us as a whole to change it. It is. And we have to start with self. Right. We have, you know, young people have to know how to respect themselves, but they get it from the adults that raised them. Mm -hmm. And you, we have to correct our households. Yeah. We have to stop having these single parent households. Yeah. It takes a male and a female influence to raise a child. Yeah. 
yin and yang. You took it out of my mouth. With, 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 without both sides, mm-hmm. you don't have a whole. Mm-hmm. So our families are not whole. Mm-hmm. Our neighborhoods are not whole. Mm-hmm. Our society is not mm-hmm. whole. When you, we're denying our birthright. Mm-hmm. We're denying our birthright. So the why is because spiritually we're unbalanced. We have to bring that back home. And Balance. I have no other way of saying mm-hmm. that. Spiritually, we are so far off track. Mm-hmm. Materialism and materialistic ideals mm-hmm. have taken over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Things have become people's gods. Your car, I want the car that you have. I want the house that you have. That's not what's going to make you whole. Yeah. You know? Kids are, are, it's more important to them to have a, a, a pair of Air Jordans mm-hmm. than it is to get an A on their report card. Right. The focus has to shift back to what's important. Because, see, our children, <laughs> when you look at the violence, domestic violence, our children are the ones that we are coaching right now to come into alignment for professional standings or wherever they're going to work. On a holistic basis, if they're going to be a politician, we need to get some in there because we need balanced thinking people in our offices. But unless we get our homes in order and we get us in order as individuals so that we can act as a whole mothers and fathers, then what's happening? We're going to continue to have a society where so many children are being killed in the streets. Uh, yes. They're being killed in the homes yes. and so on and so forth. But this thing is showing itself because it needs to be Changed. fixed. It and and, be and it's not it's not just that God is going to do it. God wants willing people that will change, change yes. you. Do yep. not accept anything. God's work is finished. God already created us perfect. Mm-hmm. It, it's up to us to step into what we were created to be, you know, we, we, like I said, we've gotten off track. Uh, the only way change is going to take place, it has to start individually. Yeah. We have to change ourselves. We have to become whole ourselves. Be, and because when you're not whole, you, you can't make good decisions. Mm-hmm. You, you know, in order to make the right decisions, you know, you have to be right within yourself. You have to get yourself right. And, and that doesn't mean you become perfect. But you start doing better. Right. You, 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 yes, I like the way I am now. I love me right now. But am I finished? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have no. To. You know, you never finish. Mm-hmm. But you, when you, when you, my favorite saying is when you, when you know better, you do better. Mm-hmm. So you, 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 you attempt to make better decisions, the right decisions. But you got to first be honest about yourself. You got to take a good look at yourself. And be honest about who you are and, and what you are. You know, your weaknesses, your strengths, you have to know it all. Mm-hmm. And then grow from there. Go from there. You know, uh, you can't go change anything in the past. But what you do today sets the stage for what's coming tomorrow. And that's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, we have to go to work now, of course. <laughs> we are at um, Maryland Parkway 1311 in Las Vegas, uh, Nevada. The number is 702 702- Six two nine six five 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 renewed mind wellness and so give us a call if you need any assistance we're here from nine to four Monday through Friday and um, we have some workshops coming up as well on the 28th but we'll talk about that um, next week um, that workshop will be on narcissism we'll be doing them ongoing and so um, Like and subscribe to our YouTubes and pass them on. Know that you don't have to live with domestic violence. God does supply the right person for you. Love. You don't have to live with that. Uh, We're going to talk about uh, September 28th. Yeah. You want to tell them about Uh, it? On September 28th, we have a workshop coming up. We're going to be speaking. Any any, uh, providers out there, uh, people that are interested, in, mm-hmm. in uh, fixing, you know, <laughs> themselves and society. Uh, we're the September 28th, which is a Friday, uh, two weeks from now. Uh, and it's going to be at 
Flamingo and Decatur area. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't have the address on me, but um, our next broadcast we will we'll put it up. It's next Thursday. No. No, I broadcast. No. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next Thursday work. <laughs> I just thought yeah, I yeah. go out of town, but I'll be back Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Um, Again, you can reach out to us if you're interested in the workshops. You can call us here and um, you can ask for me, Kim. Michael is in and out, but um, myself or if he will help you. Okay, so thanks for watching and um, we pray good health and strength for you and mental healing. All right. God bless. God bless you.